everyone. It's me, Molly. Molly of the Nolly. Let's go. She's Molly of the Nolly. <laughs> My plane is sled or snowshoe. She is ready to explore. From Cactola down to Juno, always wanting to learn more. Yeah. Together with her best friend, to be always by her side. And Trini. Discovering the outdoors on adventures day and night. Come along. Hey everyone, it's me, Molly, speaking from the Denali Trading Post in way up north Alaska. <laughs> this week I have an amazing story to tell you. It all started when we were stocking the storeroom. And Dad was having trouble figuring out my organizing system. Hmm. So, where do sneakers go? On the W shelf, with wolves. Huh? Because wolves are a kind of dog, and dog rhymes with jog, and mostly you jog in sneakers. You know, another option would be to put them on the S shelf. Dad, you're complicating things. <gasps> a text from Nina. Hey, Trading Post peeps. Can you do me a favor? I'm up on Mount Snow with your grandpa tracking volcano activity. Don't worry, Molly. We're safe. Volcanoes are far away. But the camera just broke and we really need a... Woohoo! If only we were filming! I'm on it, Nat. Texting your granddaughter now. Woohoo! There she goes again! <laughs> can you guys bring us my video camera from the bunkhouse? ASAP? If you can get it here before dark, you might be able to see... A real life exploding volcano happening now. Nina's there and Grandpa. We gotta go. Slow down, Molly. First, where are they? Mount Snow, which is. Wait, what's the symbol for mountain? There, in the map key, a triangle. So then Mount Snow is. There! And we're here. Super close. But the road doesn't go all the way. See? That black line is the road. Then we'll drive to the end and walk. It's just a few inches. That's 10 miles on this map, Molly. Snow go? Broken in the shop. Then we'll fly. Can't. No place to land. I'm afraid the camera delivery will have to wait. But I promised. Remember our motto? Buy your supplies from the post at Denali. We'll deliver today or my name's not Molly. I've never heard that. Have you been practicing? Mm -hmm. Please, Mom, I really want to see. A volcano? <laughs> well, if you can think of some other way to get there. Hmm. We're talking explosion, Tui. We're talking kaboom. Say yes, say yes, say yes. <laughs> I saw a volcano once. Mostly I smelled it. Did you know they stink like rotten eggs? Well, I haven't seen or smelled a volcano, which is totally unfair. Yeah, but... You raised the totem in Sitka, seen puffins in Kenai, Canute to Juno, got gold in the Native Youth Olympics. Okay, okay. But everyone should get a chance to smell a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan? Dad will drive us to the end of the road, then wait while you sled us down to Lake Juk. See the key? The dotted line is a trail symbol. Once we get to the lake, Mom and I can catch the ferry to Mount Snow. Looks easy enough. Okay, I'll do it. Yes! You're the best! <laughs> Only no singing. 
It spooks the dogs. Got it. You won't even know I'm there. The first thing we had to do was pick up Tui's sled from Mr. Patuk's wood shop. Good as new. Kleana, Mr. Patuk. It's perfect. Are you worried about melted snow, Tui? It is getting warmer every day. Dad and I went sledding last week. There was still plenty of snow. Hmm. May I see your map? Just in case, right about here, past the stream, see this blue curved line? There's a shortcut to the lake. I'll draw it for you. Hey, that looks like Tui's ear. I always knew my ear would be famous. <laughs> It's hard to find and too narrow for dogs, but if there's not enough snow for your sled, the shortcut will save you time. Good luck. The second thing we have to do? Drive on the world's most bumpity road. I need a cushion! One more mile, Molly Doodle. <laughs> Keep your antlers on. Mouse! You always have to watch where you're going in Alaska. You never know when moose are going to happen. Wahoo! Thanks for the ride, Walter. I'll be here waiting for you, Tui. Hang on, Molly. Do you have everything? The map? It's with the food. Auntie Midge's famous fish stew. Come on, Mom. We have to hurry. Do you have the ferry schedule? Mm-hmm. So the last boat leaves... in two hours? We'd better get going. That's what I'm saying! Let's go, let's go, let's go! You said you wouldn't sing. That's singing! Hey, everyone! Molly here on a dog sled to Mount Snow. Gee! That was Tilly telling the dogs to go right. If he wanted them to go left, he'd say, ha! Do we tree? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so that was totally my fault. But the next problem was not at all my fault. Mr. Patuk was right. There's not enough snow. Can the dogs go faster? Not when they're pulling you over rocks and roots. Oh no! The ferry leaves in one hour! And we still have a ways to go. You know, I think we should call it a day. Please, Mom! We have to go! I've lived in Alaska my whole life, and I've seen exactly zero volcanoes! <gasps> the shortcut! Did we pass it already? Don't know. Forgot to look. Where's the map? Map, map, map. <gasps> oh, yeah, the snack bag. <gasps> Fish stew? Who didn't screw on the cap? Oh, me. After we check the map, we can eat it for lunch. No! Drop oh. it! Down, Luca. Put it down. <laughs> to Fairbanks! Nice going, Luca. That settles it. I'm afraid we'll have to... No, wait! I remember the map! The shortcut looked like your ear! Dad parked here, and the lake is here, and the trail went sort of like this, right? And the shortcut was right in the middle somewhere. Wasn't there a stream? Yes, before the shortcut, and we just went over it. I see it, there's an arrow. Shortcut, here we come. Say hi to the volcano for me. Hi, thanks, Tilly. Bye. 45 minutes, Mom, we gotta run. Have you ever tried to run in snowshoes? You kind of have to pretend you're a duck. Ah! So I only fell 13 times, and Mom fell once. Ah! Twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fairy! Waddle, Molly, waddle! Way go! We're 
They're coming! We missed it! I can't believe it! We did our best, Maul. Hopefully, we can get Dad on the phone. What? We can't give up! Mount Snow is right there! It's farther than it looks, hun. Plus, it'll be dark soon. But this is my last, maybe ever, chance to see a volcano! In action! I'm sorry, Malls. Huh? Hello! Hey! Who's that? <gasps> it's Grandpa! Jada! Look at that! You brought the camera! I told Nina you probably couldn't get it to us today. Never underestimate the power of Molly. That's my Segoya! did get to see a real-life volcano, and I learned an important thing. Two important things. One, don't let Luca eat your map. Two, never give up. Even if it's late and you have to run like a duck. Do batteries go with applesauce? Or do you keep them with the long underwear? <laughs> I gotta go. Dad needs help. See you next time. Hey everyone, Molly here to answer your questions about life in Alaska. Tisha from Guam asks, Are there other small towns in Alaska besides Kaya? Yes, Chickaloon. Hi, Molly! Today we're in Chickaloon Village. We are singing a song in the Atna language. The words in the song are all the traditional place names around us. Where are all these places? Let's look it up on the map. We wanted to know where they were, so we looked them up on the map. This is the key. The key helps you figure out how to read the map. The first name in the song is Ben Tom, and it is the traditional place name for Wasilla. So let's find Wasilla first. According to the key, Wasilla will have a small black dog. It's over here! Wasilla! Wasilla! Next is Tis Tahilactin. It means fish swim among the rocks. That's the traditional place name for Sutton. No, I found it. Let's find an alley. What does this key say? It's a symbol for the mountains. Triangles. Do you see a triangle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. 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 It's just Guys, I have an idea. How about we write the Atna names on the map? Yeah, that's, that's a really good idea. idea. We're putting the Atna place names back on the map for Wasilla, Palmer, Sutton, Chickaloon, and Anchorage. The traditional name for Chickaloon is Nardiniana. Now we get to go play outside in Nardiniana. The shortest birthday. Good morning! Okay, I know it doesn't look like it's morning, but it is. That's because it's winter. And in winter in Alaska, the sun doesn't come up till super late. And it sets really early, too. Sometimes it gets dark before we even get out of school. But more importantly, today is also Trini's birthday! Her very first birthday in Kaya. And we prepared this special surprise for her. This bird food, which I made. And a bird feeder, which I made. And these Tongas Forest cookies, which Mom made. And it all goes into this birthday box, which we made. Those cookies, so gooey and filled with deliciousness. No, for Trini. Uh... <laughs> Come on, let's wake up the birthday girl. But shouldn't we try one? Just to see if they're all right? Be strong, Takone. Von Quincy! That 
means good morning in Gwich Inn. Good morning to you, too. <sighs> I can't believe it's 9 a.m. Yeah, you'll get used to it. We're here to surprise the birthday girl. Is she up yet? Come on in. She's just talking to her mom. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Bye. Happy birthday, Trini. <laughs> Thank you. Da -da -da -da. <gasps> Upper feeder. Molly is teaching me everything she knows about bird watching. Teaching? You already know almost as much as I do. And I bet you'll learn even more today. Because we're going to... Keep it. it! Whoa, where's that? Do I need a passport? Because I don't think I have one. Nope. All you need are some hiking boots. It's the best bird watching spot around Kaya. We'll set up the bird feeder, eat cookies, drink hot chocolate, and bird watch. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Maybe we'll see a pine grosbeak. speak. I haven't seen one of those yet. This is gonna be great. And that trail goes all the way to Minso. Whoa, there sure are a lot of trails out here. You'll get used to it. It says here that it is rare to see a pine grosbeak beak in winter. I wonder why it's called a grosbeak. beak. His beak doesn't look gross. Huh, I don't know. Maybe they make a gross mess when they eat? Or maybe gross means something else in a different language. Wait, it does. I remember Nina once seeing a beaver she called Gro. I thought she meant it was gross, but she told me Gro meant fat in French. So gross beak might actually mean fat beak? Hey, his little beak is kind of short and fat. <laughs> I guess we could call him a pine fat beak? Mmm, girl speak sounds nicer. Well, he may actually get fat after he tries some of Tuyo Kami's homemade bird. Uh oh. Tui, what is it? I forgot the bird food! Ah, and we only have four hours of daylight! We have to go back and get it! Then you swing your arms out like this. Now your arms go here. I don't get it. Got it. Nice. Let's get going. We're running out of daylight. Hey, everyone. Is that the birthday girl? <gasps> Those are so beautiful. Here. Cool. Donna, a rose for you. Wow, thank you. I mean, Masi Cho. Happy birthday, Trini, and happy winter solstice, everyone. Winter solstice celebration. What's a solstice? That's today, December 21st. You didn't know your birthday is on the winter solstice? Wait, there's a restaurant in Texas called El Sol. That means the sun in Spanish. Does solstice have something to do with the sun? Yeah, it does. Molly, can I borrow your flashlight, please? Let's say this rock is the Earth. The winter solstice is when part of the Earth is farthest away from the sun. It's the longest night of the year and the shortest day. Alaska is up here. See how it's not getting much light? So that's why we really have to hurry if we want to see those birds. Come on, we only have a few hours of daylight left. Can you believe all this snow? Even in my wildest dreams, I've never seen this much snow, and I've had some pretty wild dreams. <gasps> Wait, is that a pine gross beak? Nope, just a squirrel. He may not be a gross beak, but he does have pretty fat cheeks. Mm. 
All this walking and not seeing any birds is kind of making me hungry. Well, then it's a good thing we brought Mom's delicious. <gasps> I left the cookies at the festival! Make sure we don't forget anything else. We'll meet you at Keith It. That means head of the birch trees. Kind of funny how they think we know where we're going. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Which way do we go? <sighs> they really ought to have a trail marker. <gasps> How about this one? Whoa, none of these words look familiar to me. Me neither. <gasps> Maybe we can figure out these words by saying them out loud. Good idea. Za Jal. Hmm. Does that mean anything to you? Hmm. I'm afraid not. Let's try this one. Ku Dun. That one sounds a little more familiar. Hey! When Auntie Midge gave me this rose, she called it Ku Donna. Maybe there are roses in that direction. Maybe in the summer. What about the third word? Keet. It. That sounds a lot like the word Molly and Tui said earlier. The place with the best bird watching in Kaya. <laughs> You're right. Let's try it. Wow. What a view. Let's fill the bird feeder! This was supposed to be a great birthday for Trini. How could you forget the bird food? Me? You forgot the cookies. Oh, so you're saying it's all my fault? No, but... Guys! Shh! Don't move a muscle. Is that it? That's it! Was that a... Yep, a pine growth bee. This is the best birthday ever! Except for the one where I held a baby lamb. Ooh, and that one at the water park? But this is definitely in the top five. Ooh, cookies! Break out the hot chocolate! Um... Oops. What? You forgot the hot chocolate? Just kidding. Mm, mm, mm. Hello, my tasty friend. I have waited so long for this moment. Oh, oh I could eat these every day. <laughs> Did you have any trouble finding this place? Mm, a little. It was kind of a puzzle. But I love puzzles. Look, the solstice festival is starting. It begins. It's so pretty. Just you wait. Ooh. Ooh. No awesome. way. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Whoa. I agree. Oh, wow. <gasps> Guys, can we do this on my birthday next year too? Trini, we're gonna do this every year. Mm.